Hello and welcome to Star Citizen's Star Marine with me, Ven UK. First, let's check out the leaderboards to see the competition that we're up against. On the left hand side, you can choose the game modes, whether it's elimination, or you can see Big Daddy is the top scorer in elimination, and Last Stand, at which Big Daddy is also the top player. Next, you're going to want to check out the loadout customization. Here, you can choose the weapons, armor, and utility items that you want in your loadout. Now, don't panic. All of those are provided for you. The reason for this is that no player has a distinct advantage or disadvantage because they brought the new weapon. You get the same loadouts, the same armors, the same utilities as everybody else. Now, it's important to know that you will have to create a loadout for the elimination, for the last stand as an outlaw, looks like that, and the marine. Last stand has two different uh, loadouts because there are two different sides. Now to select the different weapons or armor you want you simply select on the left hand side what you're wanting to replace and you will get a list and then you can choose from the list which one you want. And there we have a gallant rifle. You will need to remember to take spare clips and ammunition in with you so don't forget to select the spare weapon magazine and make sure that you select the right magazine for your rifle or pistol or whatever from the menu. So there we have the Gallant Energy Rifle Battery. It's now in my magazine slot. And the same again, you have two available, so let's use them. When you're happy with your loadout, don't forget to save the changes and then we can dive straight into some games. Now you do have a choice, multiplayer or private. Now it's important to note that only when you're doing a multiplayer game will you gain rank and score in the leaderboards. In a private match, you won't. So the private matches are for you and your friends. So what you can do here is change the game mode between elimination and last stand, change the map that you're going to be playing on. Now you can't change the target score or the time limit but you can invite friends from your friends list into the Outlaws or the Marines team. You can also go straight back to your customization if you want, or join as a spectator. Now in multiplayer, you get to choose what type of game you would like to play, whether you'd like to play The Last Stand, which is a uh, capture the flag mechanic, or Elimination, which is a last man standing, is the winner. So. Let's take a look at Last Stand. Now again, here you can go straight to your customization loadout, or you can just go, if you're happy with your customization already, then you can go straight in and find a match. You can also invite friends from your friends list into the Marines and join as a group. Now up here in the top right, you will have the option to choose either the best available servers or from USA, EU or Australia. So. Last Stand. In Last Stand game, it is a capture and hold mechanic. You have four terminals designated A, B, C and D that you will need to capture and hold on to. To hack a terminal, you get in front of it and using the F key, hack. Accessing control point. During this time, you will be vulnerable to attack from other players as you won't be able to shoot back yourself. Once the hack is complete, you will be back in control of your character. For capturing a terminal, you gain 250 points. When you capture terminals, the score for your team increases slowly, as you can see on the top left hand corner. If you capture more terminals, the score goes up quicker. The game ends when one team scores 250 points. Or, if the time runs out, the team with the highest score will win. This is the first of four rounds, and the outcome is the team with the most rounds won will win the game. 